Hello everybody, my name is Eddie to you and welcome back to the space, Spyro the Dragon. In the previous video, we conquered Wizard Peak, and today we're going to be facing the enemy who has the most horrible name ever, Blowhard. Yeah, his parents must have really not liked him. <laughs> so anyway, we're now going to be encountering the next boss fight of the game. And this one, honestly, is a joke. This one is so easy. Um, Toasty and Dr. Stromper were pretty easy, and basically all the basically most of the enemies in this game, uh, they're basically mo um, all pretty easy for the most part. Um, so yeah, the tradition is going to continue with uh, this guy, and honestly, he is, he's not that hard. The only real difficulty that I have with this level are the enemies getting up to him. Um, like those electrical guys right there, they could be a bit of a nuisance uh, trying to get to him, especially right now because we don't have a dragonfly. And I probably should have gotten a Dragonfly before coming into this level, but it's too late right now because this level, because this video is being recorded in post commentary, uh, because uh, um, my commentary was not going that smooth when I was recording the original video for this. But anyway, um, there's some more Dragonflies over there that we can go destroy. Not Dragonflies, they're electrical dudes. The music in this level is uh, pretty interesting. Um, like I know, um, in, the, in the past couple of videos, I've talked about how. Um, how I, f I find that the music in this game isn't all that memorable, um, but you do have to give them credit because these are catchy songs. Um, now, even if it's not the most memorable memorable soundtrack in the, in history, um, these are still pretty good songs. Now, anyway, there he is right there. Um, the reason um, his um, attacks um, they basically can mostly consist of creating thunder clouds um, to blast electricity at you. Um, and he's kind of, and he's like a tornado, and what I find kind of funny is that, um, it may, this may not actually be what happens, but when you blow fire on him, um, he, uh, his hat will kind of, um, fly off his head and then go right back onto his head. So it's kind of amusing. Um, but even with all that, I don't, um, this boss fight is, it's still a joke, it's so easy. One thing I want to talk about is uh, those green enemies right there, and something that I really like about them is the fact that they don't actually hurt Spyro himself. Um, all they really do is move the terrain around, um, and that is more like a hazard than being an actual enemy. Um, like in the high caves, they moved the platform back and forth, um, but they didn't actually physically hurt Spyro even when he was right there in front of them, uh, getting ready to destroy them. And what's also, what's also really funny is this next dragon over here. Um, his dialogue is one of my favorite. He has some of my favorite dialogue in the game, so I'll be quiet so you can listen to him. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. That dragon has some of my favorite dialogue in the game, um, where he's all like, Thanks for releasing me, Spyro, and, uh, who are you again? <laughs> um, so, I really like the dragons in this game. Uh, most of them have funny dialogue now, but there are some of them um, that have repeated dialogue, like the ones that are like, Thank you for releasing me, but the, um, the, the, some of the other dragons, especially the older ones, um, who are like, well, first let me tell you a story or things like that. I just really like those ones. Um, the dragons this game have really funny dialogue. Um, you know, look at that background over there. So pretty. This is such a pretty game, even though it's a PlayStation game. Well, the PlayStation did have pretty good graphics for its first time. But anyway, let's go over here and and continue fighting Blowhard. I swear, like ten percent, like uh, ten or five percent of this video is gonna end up being like the actual fight because. Uh, you can, um, if you really, if you're really good at this boss fight, I'm willing to bet you can beat this level in under a minute. Um, if you know where you, well, maybe not under a minute, but um, it can certainly feel like it, where you can beat this boss fight in under a minute. Like, I'm pretty confident when they were making this level, um, the, the majority of the platforming between the different segments where you fought him, those, those were just put there because they realized just how much of a joke this guy was. last couple treasures are on top of that cliff over there, so let's go that way. And there's one more treasure chest containing a green ruby, or gem, whatever. Well, I guess it'd be more of an emerald, if anything. I don't know that much about gemstones.
But anyway, now that we have done all that, we're getting this video off here. So, next episode, we're going to be talking to the balloonist um, so that we can go to the next word of the game. So, thank you guys for watching this video of Spire the Dragon. And until next time, we're geared to you. Oh, yeah.